Hey, what's up everybody? It's Friday, we're here at Stokes VW, and today we're gonna be taking a look at the 2018 Volkswagen Tiguan. All new body style. The car hasn't made it on ground to sell yet, but the Volkswagen rep is here. He's working with the sales guys today, doing some training, letting them see the vehicle and all that. So what better than to me come out, learn a little bit about the car, and at the same time, take a look at the new Tiguan. The first thing though is we gotta find the vehicle so we can take a look at it, right? So anyways, that's a Tiguan right there, but I don't think, I don't think that's 2018. Um, the 2018 looks a little bit more like the Atlas. Yeah, that's not it. Again, here's the Atlas right over here. That's the Atlas. So the new Tiguan looks similar to that. We gotta find it. And that's what we're here to do. We're gonna find this car. It's gotta be somewhere around here. Anyways, is anybody excited about the new uh, Tiguan just as much as they're excited about the Atlas? I mean, the Atlas looked amazing, it still does. And uh, from what I've been watching on videos online and pictures and all that, the Tiguan looks very similar. But with that being said, it's a little bit smaller than the, well, it was a lot smaller than the Atlas, but it definitely has grown a lot more from the previous model Tiguans. And you can get it uh, with a third row seat, which is great. So let's see if we can find this car. So far, I uh, haven't found it, but let's walk inside. Maybe they got it in the showroom. I really don't know. I see a bunch of cars around here, but I don't see the Tiguan. Let's find it. So anyways, thanks for joining in on the Friday vlog at Stokes VW. says I'm not beautiful. I'm not beautiful. <laughs> All right, we found the Tiguan. Of course, it's in the showroom where it's nice and cool at. Let's walk over that way, take a look. All right, here it is. So, of course, the sales guys are really getting into this, checking it out. Sweet. Let's take a quick look at it while they're kind of learning. What's up, man? Hey. Oh yeah, it's looking good. I'm loving it. What about y'all? I mean, this is just absolutely amazing. Good looking car. Again, I don't want to get too much in the way of things right now, but just kind of wanted to show it to you. And, uh, and we'll talk to the guy in a little bit here and see exactly what we can do with it. All right, so what I was just told is when he gets done with the sales guys here in a few minutes, he's gonna give me full access to the Tiguan. How about that? That's pretty exciting. So we're gonna really be taking a Good look at the new Tiguan today at Stokes VW. So I hope y'all are excited just as much as I am. All right, let's find something to do to waste a little time while we're waiting on them for the next 30, 45 minutes. All right, so really it's just a quick video to show you the color of the car. Uh, check out the haircut today. This is the Conor McGregor haircut. Uh, I went to the barber shop this morning and my hair was really long up top, getting long on the sides. I'm like, man, I gotta get this cleaned up. She said, well, what do you want me to do? I said, do the Conor McGregor, right? She said, what's that? I'm like, what? You don't know who Conor McGregor is? So anyways, I pulled it up on my phone. I said, look at his haircut. He's got the kind of the hard part going on. Sides are short, tops long, slick back. That's what she did. And I think she did a really good job on it. There you go. So maybe we should start a challenge up on Facebook. Do the Conor McGregor challenge by getting your hair cut with a hard part right there. If it's a hard part, yeah, I guess it is. But anyways, stay tuned because we have the 2018 Volkswagen Tiguan in the showroom, all new. And according to the Volkswagen rep, he said, I'm going to give you the keys of the car and let you just have at it once I'm done with the sales guys very shortly. So, man, this is going to be cool. All right, everybody, so Rich is going to take us out for a test drive in the all-new Tiguan. Yeah, looking good, I'm telling you. 
This is cool. Now, I don't know how in-depth we can get with Rich, but I'm hoping Rich can give us some good information about this vehicle because I'm kind of learning about it myself just by being hands-on with it today. And, uh, you know, some of the things uh, we can see right here just on the front end while we're kind of hanging out, headlights are looking good. And I believe those are all LED. Very similar to your Atlas headlight. Got the fogs down in the bottom bumper there. Got all your sensors and everything on the front grill. So there's gonna be a lot of technology inside the new Tiguan. I mean, this is definitely taking the Tiguan to a whole nother level. And that's what's really exciting about this. Tiguan's been around a long time, but it's been, it's, it's time now to see this vehicle in a whole new light. Let's check out uh, some of the cargo space in the back. I mean, it's definitely pretty. And this is a good time to check out cargo space because Rich is putting his luggage back here. And as you can see, that suitcase fits very nicely in the back. Wow. And as you can see, the body lines on the side looking really good. And this is pretty. You know, the exhaust pipes in the back, similar to your, uh, your Atlas. And just kind of while we're looking, let's go under here and take a look. As you can see, there's that there. Your actual exhaust tip is right there, as you can see. So this is really more for kind of aesthetics, looks, sensors, lots of nice little chrome trim going around. And um, one thing I like is the LED light right up top there that's pretty sweet you got your power tailgate buttons right up there as well and then of course you know now you can kick your foot under here and make that open right up you'll notice the big panoramic glass sunroof up top another light right there so lots of lighting for the back so as you can see here Yep. Hitting the button, but I think Rich has got the key in his pocket, so it's not going to actually perform and, uh, and drop down. But yeah, it definitely is bigger. Um, yeah, there is a third row seat back here. It's sitting right there, okay? So that's pretty cool. A third row in a Volkswagen Tiguan. Wow. Archie, right. I'm going to put this up. I'll be there. So it does, you can kick your foot under there and it'll actually open up in the back. Is that correct? Yeah. Okay. I was kind of curious, there's a, there's a LED light at the top. Does that have something to do, this light right here? Is that really just to kind of light things when you're packing your stuff in? Yeah. You got your, I think. Uh, okay. Yeah. That's your light there. So you Sweet. Well, it definitely is a beautiful day in July. It is extremely hot though here in the Carolinas in the upper 90s today, but a beautiful day for a test drive in the new Tiguan. So basically right now I got one shot to get a video of this car, so I'm trying to film everything while we're doing it here. Again, uh, you know, the next time I'll be able to film it is when the car actually gets here to sell. Yeah, we're good. I'm gonna close these doors. All right, let's hop in the new Tiguan and see what it's all about. All right, everybody. So I didn't get to um, do a whole lot talking back and forth with Rich in the car. I mean, we did chat, but Rich really kind of wanted to keep things quiet and not talk too much while cruising down the road in the new Tiguan. And uh, I'm not sure really exactly what his reasoning is on that because he seemed very knowledgeable in the vehicle while talking with the sales guys in the showroom. But at the same time, I think that's more of a corporate type of thing where these guys can't really do a whole lot of talking. But hey, at least he um, took me out for a ride, showed me the nav system here. And uh, he, right now he's showing me how you can display nav on either the screen right up front or the one right in front of the uh, uh, steering wheel there. So I thought that was really nice. I love the big... Uh, 
digital display screen for your speedometer, tachometer, and uh, multi-information display and all that. So that's pretty nice. Um, so what else while we're cruising down the road here looking at things? Well, it definitely did seem bigger in size. That's for sure. A little more leg room in front on the Tiguan. I mean, of course, this particular model has got the third row seats in the far back back there, the panoramic glass sunroof. And one thing he pointed out, he said, look, man, when you get a uh, when you get one of these in, do a night review because he said the uh, top up there on the, where the sunroof at, there's basically uh, LED lights that illuminate all around where the sunroof's at on the top. And he said it looks really good at nighttime. And uh, man, that would have been cool if me and him could have got together during the evening to do that. But anyway, so that's just a quick ride right up down the road to feel the suspension on it and things like that. Let's see if I can cut through and, uh, and talk about some stuff maybe y'all can hear in. Right now, he's kind of telling me about the USB ports, how you got two up front, one in the back. So three total that I believe inside of here. And of course, an auxiliary port. You got your blind spot monitoring system on the mirrors there. You know, all the fun tech safety features that you have on your Atlas. A lot of that stuff is starting to transfer right on over into the Tiguan. So that's pretty cool. Um, other than that, I did like the Tiguan a lot. It drove really nice, but again, I didn't get to test drive it for myself, but here, right here, check this out. I've been talking about this on a lot of light, night review videos. You got an LED light now in your uh, vanity mirror up top. That's really nice. I've mentioned that many times, and I told Rich that while driving in a car. You know, when a lady or a woman or, or even a guy wants to sit there and look in the mirror, you know, it's nice to have that LED lighting like that. It's, it's a better lighting on your face than those regular old yellowish colored bulbs that are in there. Just doesn't do a lady any justice while she's doing her makeup or anything like that in the vanity mirror. So I'm so happy to see that on the Tiguan. I mean, you can get it on a lot of your Highline luxury vehicles that'll have an LED light put right up in there. But usually not on your uh, cars like Volkswagen, Honda, Mazda, things like that. So that was really tight. Um, here's a quick shot, you know, of that display there. Really smooth. It's high definition. It looks really good. Um, like I was telling him, I used to work for Audi, you know, years ago. And when the Audi A7 came out, um, it had a it had a uh, digital cockpit like that. So uh, that was really sweet. I'm glad to see it. But man, it's taken a long time for that stuff to drop down into the Volkswagen brand when it comes out years and years in advance with the Audi vehicles. So LED lights are sitting somewhere in here to illuminate that at nighttime. Yep. Oh, that's going to be cool to see. Definitely want a shot of that at night. Yeah. In the doors. So Rich said, hey, right before I drop you off, let me show you the backup camera real quick. So he's showing me that right now, how you can see kind of a 360 around the vehicle, which is really nice. Um, like I told him, Volkswagen has done a great job on the backup cameras. Um, and they, they do look really good. And I love how the guidelines move with you when you turn the steering wheel. Um, nothing new to a lot of us that are into this kind of stuff. But it is a nice little feature to have on your car. So that's pretty sweet. Up for this guy. Okay, so there is, yeah, there's cup holders. That's right. Well, hold on. So you said there is cup holders in the back? Okay. I'm not seeing them, but they're, they're, in, they're back here. Right there. Okay, so your back seats do have rails on the bottom where they go up and back. Is that correct? Okay, so that's nice. Still 40, 60 back seats split. 40, 20, 40. 40, 20, 40. Okay. That's nice. Mm -hmm. Is that steel plating in the back? That's right. Yep. That's safety right there, folks. Mm -hmm. That's definitely safety there. I love the rear air in the back for the kids and friends. Got a 12 volt, another uh, USB back there. Still got a little pouch there for the iPad, tablet. I guess there's no more paper maps, maps anymore. <laughs> Magazines, right? Exactly. Yep, the roof looks good. We'll definitely do a night review, folks, when it comes out. Let's get a shot of the outside. Yeah, let me not forget about this. Looking sweet. So again, all it's it's LED lighting on your on your uh, SEO SEL SEL premium. premium package. Okay. Looking good. Longer third row seats. Will there be a shorter version available in some in the future? That would the shorter one would be the uh, without the third row seat. No, it's still gonna be the same. Oh, same length either way. Okay, that makes sense. I think that's in Europe where they got a shorter version of it. 
Looks like a mini Atlas, don't it? That's what everyone says. Yeah. Looking good. We're liking it, folks. Loving the wheels. What size is on that this car? 19. 19s. 19s looking great. Beautiful car. Everybody, thanks for watching. And uh, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Appreciate your time today. Anytime, Chad. Safe travels. Thank you. And just to, when you do your voiceover, okay. FYI, uh, VW.com will have a list of all the specs if you want to make check. You know, make sure everything's okay. Actual, I'll go. Yeah, I'll go on there. On cool. Too. Thank you. Right, God bless well, you. Have a good one, man. There it is. Looking good. We're liking it. Alright everybody, thanks for watching the video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. We're definitely going to have new stuff coming soon on the Tiguan as soon as it lands at our front door at Stokes VW.